everyone, this is Fantasy Esque, and welcome back to Niche Warrior Story, where we are joining our lovely citizens of Flantha in the second century of White Age. We have 10 nichelings, 93 food, and 63 nesting material. The nichelings have been expanding quite nicely, however, while our food resources have been going up, our couples have kind of, I think, reduced a little bit in the amount that have been coupling, and as a result, our nichelings are also becoming a lot less diverse and smaller in terms of tribe size. So hopefully we will find some wandering nichelings or encourage the couples that we already have to go ahead and have more offspring for us. Although I think the issue at this stage is not the amount, I think it's the genetics. Because as we keep going we're going to find that we're not having nichelings that can pair up to have healthy offspring. There's always going to be a chance of getting a sick one, which we really don't want. Um, so without further ado guys, let's jump into the episode and see what we get up to. We have Olesa over here with Lord Vain III heading this expedition, Belrophon and Olesa II. Oh yes, the family is right up here. Also, Olesa II, who was your father? Kilintal. Oh, okay, that's right. So Olesa has never taken a mate after the death of Kilintal, which is completely fine. Understandable. And I think everyone has moved around for the day. All I have to do is turn it over. But quickly, let's recap. We have those four that I talked about. Um, Lord Vane the Third's mate and child uh, down here at the capital of Flantha, or the center of Flantha, I guess we could say. Lady Kleshex is right over here, along with her, I think, one and only son, Vane the, the, Vane the Fourth. And when we turn the day, I think she's going to have the second child. We also have Fenalia the second, who is tending to this berry bush and kind of serving as a bit of a connection between the two groups that have kind of been separated so far. Even the little family we have on this side with Hadel, Illo, and Illo the second. I was trying to keep them all connected, but they went chasing fish and they kind of got disconnected from everyone else. As long as our nest here is lighted up, Flantha is going to be fine, but it would be good to make sure that the various nichelings uh, in the various stages of this island are actually connected, forming a bit of a path. So what we might see over time is wherever there are good resources, kind of like we're doing with Fernalia the Second, not everyone's going to be an adventurer, we might start setting out um, a, a bit of a... Path, I guess you could say, through the islands, um, going to separate parts of the society, which might be centered around a bunch of trees. I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to see. But okay, let's turn the day. And oh my goodness, what is this? We have a boy who looks flippin' badass. Look at him. I don't know why. He reminds me of like peanut butter Oreo cookies. Is it just me? Do you guys see this too? <laughs> Okay, he needs a name. I really like this dude. I really like him. So let's see what name we can give him from the list. And he's a warrior, thank goodness. I would have been very upset if he wasn't. He's going to be called Quintoral. So Quintoral, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. Well, I'm very happy with that mix. Your mother could... I guess have another child. I'm very tempted. Very tempted. And it's got K, K and E genes. K and E guys. You know why that's important? Because we don't have C in him. Which means he can mate with some other nichelings. Like for example, C and H. Illa the second. I think one of you is saying that Illa the second. Or is it Fernalia the second can make a good mate for Bellerophon? Or was it Olesa? Hold on a second. Or less of the second but the problem is guys with that that they share the sea genes which is why i'm not willing to breed them however quintoral and illo the second might be great mates because they don't share the same genes i mean quintoral has a choice of anyone he could take on any female he could take on olessa the second with c and g he could take on fernalia the second with h and c or he could take on illo the second and all the ladies will be a breeding age by the time he grows up. So I don't know what's going to happen. But I do like it. And because of that, I'm actually tempted to breed Clash X again. I'm very tempted to breed Clash X with Lord Vane III. And I think I will. Because right now she's the only niche thing that's bringing in different genes to us. So 
Let's see how far Lord Vane can come down here. Okay. And then she's gonna jump there. Oh, excellent. So she is expectant and should be having this child before she passes away. And we might have one more chance, one more chance, guys, of... Look at him! That's so adorable. We might get one more chance of having a, a little baby who also has K and E genes. Or it could be K and E, could be... Um, B and E? I don't know. Those would be some cool genes. As long as there's no C. That's the only thing we're kind of scared of, the C. So, let's go ahead and see what you... Yeah, there's not really much, is there? Maybe try and grab some berries. Let's get you to jump up here. Gather berries on that end. These guys will try and return to the river, I think. And see if they can find any fish along here. So let's return to the river. Oh, there's something along here. There are some fish, so we'll try and grab those. So they've returned to their little um, capital. Or not capital, but their nest site over here. These three are going to be exploring just like I had hoped they would. Is anyone good at collecting? We have one collecting here and one here. Well, Belrophon, why don't you come this way and try and get some berries. We'll clear this. And you can clear that. I'll jump this way. And you can jump that way. There we go. We'll kind of do a curve a bit around here. Well, that's pretty good, I think. Yeah, food resources are being kept really high, which makes me happy, as you guys know. And we have had a little kidlet grow up. Okay, Illo the second. You are gonna get your pink gemstone to show that you are not a warrior. Quintoral is, thank goodness, my little boy. Okay. Let's see. You guys would probably want to grab these fish. And you can attempt to go this way. Even more fish. Let's see. You can also help out, actually. You can help out in many ways. So let's grab some berries. You can help by collecting those. We unlocked a few things. Webbed hind legs and webbed paw. Okay. That's pretty cool. And... Clash X is gonna return to the nest. Have one final child and then pass. I'm actually wondering... Okay, she's gonna have one day left. She could technically have another child. Can she? Yeah. No, she can't. No, she can't. She can't. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Don't stress too much. We'll just jump on here and she's gonna have this final kid. And Vayne the fourth. Let's grab some berries. The mother's gonna pass away soon, so you're gonna have to look after this area. And actually, the next lady... Hmm... I feel as though if the lady's not there, the lord should come back. The lord should come back and kind of stabilize everything. Even though the lady kind of is the one who looks after those things, usually. So, Bane the third. There we go. You can grab some of those. Finalia, grab some berries. Belrophon, let's grab that. Move back here. Oh, let's grab some stuff to dig. Let's clear away these spots. You can jump on this end. And okay. These guys are a little bit quiet now. So let's settle down over here next to Lady Kleshex and see whether or not she hopefully has another peanut butter Oreo kid that's got K and E jeans. It's a girl that has K and E! Nice! Nice! So that's awesome. That means we have a male and female with those genes. Excellent. That makes me super happy. Okay, you're gonna get those. And you, little girl, need a name. You're gonna be called Graven. And I think that name suits her very well because she's black and, if anything, that kind of, you know, looks grim, has to do with graves. I like it. Graven. So Graven, welcome to the family. Actually, no, no, no! You're not Graven. My bad, my bad. You're not Graven. You're the first daughter. So, okay, we'll use Graven for another kiddo. 
You're supposed to be Clash X the second. Okay. Clash X the second. There we go. My bad, guys. My bad. This was supposed to be Clash X the second. So good job, Lady Clash X. You've kind of passed on um, your genes the best way knew you, uh, that you knew how. I got tongue-tied for a second, guys. Tongue-tied. But okay, you guys. K and C, H and E. Yeah, you also had a good going. So you could also produce a daughter that doesn't have a C or a son. So you should probably breed. Let's get you two then. To get some stuff going, shall we? There we go. So Ilo is expectant. And let's jump back this way. Any fishies? Nope, but there's something to dig. There we go. <clears throat> and as for you guys down this way, let's collect up some berries with Vayne the Fourth. Ah, come back this way. Queen Toral. We don't have any. I would love to get some Cracker Jaw back, guys. I would just love to get Cracker Jaw back. And Quintoral, he might decide to go join the others. He can really hoof it. He might decide to help Adventure. And I think that's what he might do. So, okay. Clash X, let's jump here. Grab some berries. And then she's going to pass away. Which means Vayne the Third is going to have to come back. Because he's going to have to stabilize this family. And the settlement of Flantha. Once his mate, who's older than him, passes away. <clears throat> we have a lot of food. Hundred and three. Okay, let's grab these berries. And you guys this way. Let's berries. Jump here. Oh, even more berry bushes. Let's clear this. Jump here, clear that. We're making progress. We're making progress. We've got quite a bit of land. And another thing, all areas of our settlement is all connected again, which makes me happy. I'm glad that is the case. That is uh, kind of the goal. If possible. We would like that to continue. But Clash X has just passed. Clash X the second is gonna get a pink gemstone and then a warrior gemstone when she's uh, a teen. But let's see. You are gonna kind of settle down here and take care of everyone for a bit. And Vayne the fourth is gonna try and help his father as best as possible. Let's see. I think Illo is ready to settle down on this nest. So let's get her daughter out of the way. And maybe she can help. Ooh. Collect things. Find some fish. We'll come up this way. Oh, you can't grab food? Well, you can try. And Hadel. Oh, you got something to dig. He can uh, gather berries, which is good. Which is good. Okay, you can collect your berries. For Nali the second. I know some of these nichelings don't have the most extravagant rules and they don't get to uh, go do adventuring or anything like that. But I think every little thing they do has has a... It's kind of of importance. It adds up, basically, is what I'm trying to convey here. They all add up. So, let's clear this. Nothing there. Berries jump this way and yeah we can't forget in our craziness of going ahead and expanding and oh no we disconnected again of uh, expanding we can't forget to go ahead and make sure that our nichelings are keeping up with food and actually I'm thinking or oh, Illo the second for a bit might actually become a bit of because I'm thinking of breeding him and Quintoral so what I might do is actually make her um, kind of a sentry or gatherer because she's a gatherer isn't she yeah she is I'm thinking of making a gatherer at this berry bush where Belrafon is standing next to just like finale the second is doing I think that's what I'm gonna do it's kind of the goal so far okay well let's settle down next to Illo cross our fingers that she's gonna have a child without the sea gene and let's see it's a boy that's bad-faced. I'm loving this family so much. Um, he's not a warrior, unfortunately. Um, but he doesn't have C! Excellent, he doesn't have C. Well, let's go ahead. And he's gonna be called... His father was Hadel. So he'll be Hadel II. 
Oh, I love this so much. Hadel the second. Okay, there we go. Hadel the second. Welcome to the family. I'm going to keep encouraging these guys to breed because I love the kids that they are producing right now. I can't get enough. Okay, there we go. So I'll keep them trying. And let's get Illo. Oh, my bad. Gather those stuff. And she can actually... No, she can't. She's not a warrior. That's right. Okay, so she's not a warrior. One warrior. <gasps> female! Female! We have a female that has D and K. We don't have D, I think. So invite her in. Thank you very much. Who are you? Okay, we're gonna name this one Graven. So Graven, welcome, welcome, welcome. You are a gatherer primarily, so you're gonna get the pink and green gemstones. Okay, sweet, our numbers have grown a little bit. We have Antenna that she's brought in. She could take on someone as a mate. So let's see, D and K, C and E. She could take on Belrophon as a mate. Yeah, I think Belrophon's the only male that hasn't had, uh... Actually, so has Vayne the fourth, B and C. But there's a lot of females we're having. Mm. I kind of want Belrophon though to breed because he hasn't had a chance to. So, Clash X the second. Let's give you your warrior stone. Yeah, I think this new female, Belrophon, my boy, you've just found yourself a mate. I know it's been a long time coming and you are quite a bit older now. Um, but you have a Graven, so you guys should go ahead and, you know, try for a little kiddo. So, let's send him back here. And there we go. They have now mated. They're going to be mates for life, which makes me happy. They'll probably wait um, before they have their kid, unlike Illo. So we'll get them moving in just a second. But these guys over here. Right, Vayne the fourth. Let's grab these. Little Kleshex. Do you want to go out into the world? Um, or do you want to stay here? Kind of in the Bay Area. She might stay in the Bay Area, not too sure. Vane, you kind of have to stick here. You can't really go very far. Okay, Vane's gonna patrol that area for Nolly the second. Let's grab these. They're kind of still connected, yep. They're still connected through the water. That's fine. Okay, you guys, you guys. Let's go ahead, Quintoral. Throw away that. Oh, there's a bunnel. But let's ignore it. Let's... Get... Oh, what was that? What was that? Who got... Oh, that was Vane, the fourth. Well, we will deal with him in a second. These guys, though. Let's throw away this and grab some food. There we go. I think they're all gonna be kind of... I think what these guys are going to do, they're probably going to try and find a nest. Graven's going to try and find a nest somewhere here. Yeah, I don't think she wants to go back to this side, to the old parts of Flantha. She wants to find a new part of Flantha. It's kind of more to do with her and Belrophon than anything else. So there we go. Also, these guys, I'm pretty sure they have very similar coloring. So it'll be interesting to see what genes their kid gets. Okay, let's end the day. Yes, I know, you're crying, you're crying, don't worry, your father's gonna come and help you out. There we go. He's gonna heal you up, you can grab your berries. Jump back in this direction. We'll get Kleshex to come here. Nope, can't find any fish, can't find any fish. Okay, Hadel the second. You need your green stones. Jump out of the way. You might actually, um, he's a fisher though. He could help out with fishing. Hmm. He could help out with fishing because he, he does have fishing genes. Well, why don't you, Illo, go this way. Try and grab some berries. You can really. Someone's bleeding. It's okay. I'm fairly sure I have dealt with it. And for Nali the second, let's grab berries. And oof. It is tough when you can't find berries, isn't it? Mm. Okay, well now you've kind of disconnected everyone. Great flipping job. 
Let's grab berries there. And I think, ooh, someone has aged up here. Quinn Toral can take on a mate. Whew, so we might have to send him back for Illo. Either that, or we can get Illo to keep moving with him. But who's gonna keep this part of the world connected? I don't know. Anyways, guys, with that said and done, I'm gonna leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.